To begin the Keyboarding Pro Deluxe software, we will start with Lesson 14 on page 36 of your text. And uh, on my computer, I'm going to open up the little picture of the man. Keyboarding Pro 2 Deluxe Workstation. Because you've already registered in the class and have installed the software on your computer, should pop open and have your name listed here on the left hand side. If it doesn't, you'll have to go through the Locate Online Student and copy and paste the class code and the student ID again that we went over in the last video. Otherwise, you'll be able to click on your name and begin click with OK. Uh, once again, I believe I just sent everybody the same password and that's just P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, all lowercase. If you are bringing in something off of a flash drive, then you would want to import it from here and browse to find your flash drive, but right now I don't believe anyone is doing that, so I'm going to click on No. Welcome back to Keyboarding Pro. You can return to the next lesson in the sequence, the or you can explore new sections. Don't forget the review uh, sections for additional practice. Yes, you're first initially seeing here. This is the main menu. Uh, if you're coming across the top, you'll see Lessons. Once I click down on Lessons, then I can choose which lesson that I will be using. Today, I'm going to go to Lesson number 14, where I will begin learning the numbers. So I'm going to click on that and go Before to we move on to number keys, let's practice the keys you know. Eight. This is going to correspond with page 36 of your text. So looking on page 36 of your text, you'll see that Alphabet 1 begins there, the first line, Jesse Quick believed that the campaign frenzy would be exciting. And this is just um, a warm-up activity. So I'm going to go ahead and begin this line just so you'll see kind of what it looks like. On this particular one, you will see that there are two spaces right here in the middle. Regardless of if you have chosen one space or two spaces, it's going to still be, unfortunately, spacing twice because that's the way this textbook teaches it. And of course, that took my speed way, way down because I was talking through it. I typed 112, guys. Okay, and now when you finish the end of it, I'm going to say no, I do not want to repeat this. If you feel as though you do need to repeat it, then go right ahead and do so with the tapping of a yes, but I will instead click no. Keep your eyes on the textbook copy the as you key. This particular session It's going to just continue to go forward as you go through each of the lessons. You can see that this is also on page 36, lines 5 through 12. If you'll go up to the very top on the right hand side in this blue area, once you just hover over that blue area, then you can see that I have completed the warm-up. It has the check mark there. Once I complete these lines 5 through 12, there would be a check mark here. Learning the 1 through 8, and as you complete each of the things, there will be a check mark on each one. Okay? And uh, so that's how you would, would work your way through, through the lesson. <clears throat> Once you've finished that and you're ready to exit the program, um, 
you're going to go to the top and say that you're ready to quit. When you click on that X, it's going to say, yes, do you want to exit? And you will say, yes, that you do want to exit. And at that point, it's going to ask you if you wish to send your data files to the web server, and at which point you will want to say yes. You do need to be hooked up to the Internet in order for this to happen. When you send them to the web server, that's when I can see what you have completed. So you will then at that point click yes, and then click send to finish. It'll give you the message that the student data was uploaded successfully. Click OK, and then it's going to give you one more opportunity. If you would like to save your things to a flash drive, you can do so. You would just basically click yes, and then go browsing until you find your flash drive. Now, I don't have a flash drive in right now, but that's how you would do that. I do want to uh, encourage you not to try to open this off of your flash drive, though, because you will not be able to see it. It's going to be computer gibberish. Uh, you, won't be, you won't be able to open it and see what you've actually typed. The only good thing about exporting your data to a flash is that if uh, you were not hooked up to the internet, then that would save your work onto the flash drive so that you would be able to upload it when, when you start the program over again. Okay, and that's basically how you move from one thing to the next in Keyboarding Pro Deluxe 2.